Hello and welcome back to video 4 of this 5 part series. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a snapshot system for when the player is on low health. But first, let's have a listen to how this effect sounds. So to get started, head over to FMOD and open up your mixer window, and then go to Snapshots. As now, you're going to want to create a new overriding snapshot with an appropriate name. And if you haven't set up your routing yet, go do that now. Here's how mine looks. And what you want to be mindful of when you're creating your groups or your busing structure is that you want to have an idea of which sounds are going to be affected by the low health snapshot and which ones aren't. In this case, I've determined that I want the whole sound effects group to be affected, but the events that I don't want to be affected are going to be the music, and the player death, and the heartbeat sound. This is because the heartbeat sound is only going to start playing when the snapshot occurs, and of course I'm going to want to hear the player death sound when the player dies, so I don't want any changes to how that's going to sound. Since we know that we want the snapshot to affect only the sound effects group, make sure that you create an EQ, so just go to add effect, 3 EQ, and then head over to your snapshot you created, and then make changes to the group you want to affect. So in this case, I want to lower the overall volume of the sound effects group, and I also want to carve out some frequencies in the EQ. Now that you're done, you can always make comparisons between your snapshot and your mixing desk just by deselecting the snapshot. Do that by just clicking on empty space here, and you can see what changes you're going to make. So far we created a snapshot that's going to lower the volume of the sound effects group, and is also going to use an EQ to reduce the frequencies of this group. Now we have to create an event for the heartbeat sound, and we're also going to use that event to trigger this snapshot. After setting up a basic event, so adding in the audio file for the heartbeat, and then setting up the loop region to define what area we want to loop. Additionally, some automation for the volume has been set up. So as you can see, we're going to aim to start this heartbeat and the snapshot event when the player's health drops below 40. And then we're going to increase the volume of the heartbeat all the way to just before zero. And the reason we have this drop in automation of the volume over here is because when the player's health reaches zero, we don't want to hear the heartbeat anymore because the player has died. Since the player's health is going to go down by a multiple of 10, let's set the health to 40 and decrease by 10 to hear how this is going to sound. You can also add some more intensity to this by modulating the pitch. So here's an example. Next, let's drag in the snapshot to this event. So go to your mixer, minimize the window a little bit so you can see it, and drag in your event. Now that you've done that, if you click on your snapshot event region, you'll notice that you're given a knob over here that says intensity. Think of this knob as a mixer. You're using this to control the difference between the low health snapshot being applied, so that means the effects that are happening right here, so on the volume and the EQ, and you are comparing these changes to when the mixing groups have no snapshot. Think of it this way. If the intensity is at 100%, all the changes we've made over here on our low health snapshot will be applied. If the intensity is at 0%, even though the snapshot has been activated, you won't hear a difference because these changes haven't been applied. And as the intensity gradually and gradually increases, the parameters we've set in the snapshot, so the volume of the group bus and the desired EQ settings, will start to come into effect all the way until they reach their maximum value when the intensity is at 100%. You can also automate the intensity. To do that, just right click, add automation, and then just add some automation points or even a curve. So now let's summarize. We've created the basic heartbeat event with the audio file and the looping region, then we added some volume automation to it. Next we've added some pitch modulation, and then we dragged in the snapshot event to make sure that this snapshot is going to be called when this event is called. And finally we've automated the intensity of the snapshot to be affected depending on what the player's health is. So by now, I've shown you a few ways that you can use C Sharp script to call FMOD events. All you have to do is go to the player health script 
and make sure that if the player's health drops below 40, you want to tell F1 to play the player heartbeat event. Additionally, you want to keep track of the player health variable in the script and make sure it's outputting its relevant value to the health parameter in FMOD. So inside of the update function, you're going to want to add a line of code that sets the health parameter to be equal to the current player health parameter. So in this video, we've talked about how to create a snapshot, attach it to an event, and modulate the intensity. In the next video, I'll talk about using FMOD's profiler and some performance optimization and mixing. Thanks for watching.